Okay, greetings everyone, this is First Centaurian 753 with the next episode of Geopolitical Simulator 4 Power and Revolution French Colonialism. And we have the Cannes Film Festival coming up here on the 9th. Uh, here's our country, France. We have uh, several naval forces advancing through the Mediterranean towards the Mid Atlantic, where they will hopefully help to uh, intervene in this Mali situation here. Mali is one of the uh, Neo-French colonial colonies, I guess, or uh, countries that France is uh, influencing, attempting to influence in this scenario and in the modern world. Uh, one thing I didn't notice before, I think I pointed this out at the last end of the last episode, France does have a military base in Mali, and this was one of the reasons why I couldn't get another, why I couldn't build one, I was trying to build one. I switched to this military screen here, if you're on the, uh, I guess the normal screen it doesn't show it, but on the military screen it does show military assets. So, just an overview here, we have a French uh, base camp in Mali with about 3,000 soldiers, 21 uh, first rate, or, they're not first rate, one star tanks, uh, four stars is more of like a first rate, more pirate quality tank. So, not too many forces here, I want to try to deploy more forces if possible. We're looking at a resistance group uh, called the Malayan Tuareg, I should have looked this up beforehand, uh, Union, it's pan-Islamic group, there's 3 million supporters in the country, 553 fighters, uh, 13 mercenaries, and 7 armed pickup trucks, so we should actually have enough uh, forces to uh, engage, but I do not like engaging ground troops when I can use my military and air force, and actually we do have another air base here in Dakar, uh, in the country of Senegal with uh, 20 fighters and 10 helicopters, two, three total drones. So uh, we do have some reconnaissance and some air power already in the region. The aircraft carrier might not be necessary. I also have a satellite here, which was pointed out to me that uh, in my episode, my series on uh, Libya, I don't know if anyone will watch that. I do not recommend watching that series because it wasn't really a good series. I wasn't using my uh, satellites properly. Or no, I think that was the Greek series. And I was invading Libya. And a lot of people have watched the Greek series, and that's one of their favorites. So, yeah, okay, I recommend the Greek series. Uh, let's see, Niger is another country under our influence. We have an air base in Chad? Or no, that's it's in Cameroon. Is it in Cameroon or in Chad? I thought. I feel like it's in Chad. It's right on the line there. That's tough. I don't know. Uh, so another uh, air base there, more military installations. Right there, and we have a camp in Central African Republic, as well as another air base in Gabon. So we do actually have uh, some military installations um, around the world here. This is a French island in the uh, South Indian Ocean. So we do have a neo-French colonial empire already in place in this game here. Um, West Africa and uh, Central Africa. We're extending our empire into the Atlantic by building the Azores. We already have begun this project here. A naval base with uh, 63 days of construction completed. And I also have to point out, uh, speaking of construction, um, who was it? Sky Captain pointed out pretty much I have uh, dyslexia, I guess. I don't know. Um, I do have, uh, when you look at the difference between going, going back to energy policy, um, and you look at the difference between the 3G nuclear factory, which has 28.1 terawatts, and the nuclear factory, which has 21.8. I flipped those around. When I was in the previous episode, uh, 3G uh, 3G nuclear technology does give us a tremendous amount more of nuclear power, and we are in the process of building a 3G nuclear plant uh, right here, and it's got 127 days of uh, progress. So this takes 365 days total. We're almost halfway there. I guess about a third of the way there, and when we get that, that will help tremendously. 
with our energy production, which is at 448 and consumption is at 447. Uh, so add 28 to that and we should be in position to really uh, eliminate all fossil fuel energy. And I think I want to just start construction on a second um, nuclear plant. I don't know where a good place to build one would be. Maybe build one down south here. I guess there's a whole bunch of down there. I do want to build a second 3G plant. Uh, and that will just provide us with more than enough energy for our industrial and uh, economic expansion. It is a little expensive, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. Let's see, $25 billion adding annual reimbursement of about $3 billion per year. Let's see if we just place one right... I don't want to do it too close to any cities. Right there would be a good place. And now we have two 3G plants underway, and uh, once we get at least one done, <clears throat> we'll start dismantling the uh, fossil fuel completely. And with that done, hopefully that will help to reduce global terrorism or global uh, warming, which is one of the objectives of this thing. Uh, let's see, some events here eruption of the volcano. Congratulations on the government's management. Let's click play here so people don't get angry with me. Um, evacuation, well managed by the police. We evacuated. There was an eruption somewhere in the Caribbean, I think it was. Or was it? Yeah, I think it was the Caribbean. I should go check that out, actually. Where was that eruption? I saw it. I can see it. Uh, Venezuela, it's famine, oh, where was the volcano? There's a camp, a refugee camp, which I don't see if there are any refugees in the refugee camp. I thought I was building another one somewhere, down here in French Guiana. What is this? Oh, a launch site. <clears throat> and an airbase. I don't really see any refugees. There's the volcano. I think this whole situation is resolved. Slow internet. Uh, I don't remember if I increased the 5G or not. Energy, energy independence, public financing. This kind of reduced our popularity. CO2 emission efforts have paid off. Our studies show that our CO2 emissions have significantly lowered according to projected curves. We are currently in compliance with international objectives for 2030. Good. All right, so that's good. So environmentally, we're on track. Uh, new space program in the United States, Neptune. They're going to Neptune, interesting. And high-speed internet, let's check that out again. Where is my high-speed internet? I think it's in media. Construction. High speed fiber optic internet objective is at 15, actual is 12. We did spend money there, so that's that. Okay, now, um, question is this is advancing, let's move that a little quicker. Curious if I can do airstrikes. I want to find out where their bases are. Having satellites in the region, I should do like a uh, zigzag or something like that. See, these flights don't always go the way they want you to. You want them to go. This is actually going to violate Maritunia's uh, airspace, which uh, I'm not a fan of that. Curious if I can send helicopters. Five helicopters. Choose this base. Uh, residents return with no major difficulties. Food and water supply is assured. Need for psychological services. Has also 
been foreseen for traumatized people. The number of people homeless is estimated about 63,000, and no doubts, no one doubts that it will take some time to rehouse them all. All right, so helicopters are being deployed. Eruption is fine. Somebody resigned, it looks like, Director of Intelligence. All right, I'm taking care of the ecology. Membership, aha! They want membership in our WAM institution, which I believe is West African something. I will accept that. And Senegal wants, accept, wants membership too, so we're accepting both of those. So Foreign Affairs has bumped our popularity up a little bit. Alright, cleanup teams are good to go. Mr. President, teams are currently working to reopen road access as soon as possible to allow inhabitants to return. I think I'm handling this disaster very well. Okay, and deploying five more helicopters to our French camp in Mali. Where is our aircraft carrier? There it is, just passed through the Straits of Gibraltar there. Along with submarines in route. Real friend to the environment. Let's see if I can get a uh, endorsement. Try to bump my popularity up a little bit. Popularity is low. And if you go to elections, uh, elections are coming up in 2020. And if you guys have watched, you'll know I'm not very good at these elections. Uh, why is that pause? So, one thing I am good at, though, is extending my term. <laughs> I think I'm just going to extend this uh, one year. And we've got 62% people in favor of that. Our center formation is about 54% of the Congress here. And they all seem to be in favor of it. So, some people have said that that's gamish of me when I do that. Another volcanic eruption? Oh no. Uh, exceptional donation of 28 million has just been assigned to us to deal with the tragedy. The credit, therefore, to our budget and our money is available from now on. So we should probably deal with that, actually. I forgot where to go to deal with that. Because people are going to get upset if I don't do that. I guess it's in foreign aid, right? Alright, uh, send emergency aid. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't think that is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, there's something I'm supposed to do here. I think it might actually pop up as an announcement. Prospective analysis, coupled with the Brown model on group psychotectonics, has allowed us to identify a potential ally. In this case, a terrorist group that we have already approached. Sudanese. The use of this organization would allow us, in all probability, to boost the impact of any destabilization action to 5.6. That is an increase of 3.78. Sudan is not a Russian favorable government. <coughs> to arrange a discreet meeting Excuse with this operation's leader. The authoritarian military government. I could see an overthrow, a potential overthrow in Sudan. So we'll meet with a terrorist group there. And I may supply them weapons. Who do we have here? Sudanese Fighters for Democracy. Yeah, that sounds like what I want. Is that a communist regional political tendency? Alright. And we're kind of socialists. Speaking of French socialism, um, Dutch Gabbers has pointed out an interesting industrial policy that he's recommending for me. I'm going to get to that in a second. Let's see here. Champagne for this guy? happy to. That's what we call entertaining. Good. Radiant. Thanks. That's... There we go. What the heck? No endorsement? Ah. Waste of meaning. Okay, yes. So, the um, industrial strategy that was outlined in a comment, I think two videos ago, uh, was involved in... Looking at the industries that are nationalized, and France doesn't actually have a lot of nationalized industries. Um, the strategy was to take the ones that are nationalized, 
uh, that aren't making a ton of money, uh, except for gas and oil, which are fully nationalized, put the money, oh, sell the shares, sell a large chunk of shares in those that you have fully nationalized, except for oil and gas, and uh, money I get from selling those towards some shares in other profitable industries, making myself a minority shareholder. So right here you see that France is a minority shareholder in uh, building, construction, railways, roadways, and housing. And there aren't too many industries that are nationalized. Fighter planes, helicopters, these are military industries that the country is a minority shareholder in, and I don't think there's any actual industry. No, there's a water supply networks. And I'm not ready to mess with water supply networks just yet. Um, I did take a look at, so industry-wise, no. And I looked at, I think I looked at farming too, and everything was pretty much privatized. However, service industries are, you have something going on in service industries here, let's see. All right, air transport, we're a uh, minor shareholder. Lottery and bets, naval transportation, money shareholders. Lottery and bets, postal service, railroad transportation. Those are all nationalized. Lottery and bets. Uh, this one actually does seem pretty profitable here. We have uh, sales of 1.5 billion compared to profits of 464 million. Uh, so that's like uh, almost a third of the sales going to profits. And by the way, sales are. Uh, gross sales and profits are like net sales. That's like money, how much money the companies actually make, uh, which is where the tax income comes from. But being nationalized, they don't get taxed. So maybe I could uh, get a partial share ownership in this. But the profits should be going straight towards. I don't want to do that because these profits are going straight towards um, businesses, right? Or straight towards our. Uh, government. One thing that is interesting here is the productivity index, and I believe it's at one of oh, Cannes Film Festival. There's really. nothing to say. The event was broadcast on the TV channels of the entire world. The biggest international stars were at the event. The public was captivated. Great, 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 great. Our governmental cell informed me. That's good. That's us. Where to go? Damn it. I didn't know that was going to take me off of that. All right, lottery and bets. So, uh, what this tells me, this productivity index, I believe, if I'm correct, please correct me if I'm wrong too, but I think I talked about this in the North Korean series. If it's at one, then that means um, it is 100% efficient, where you have just enough uh, workers producing, um, oh, here it is, victims' compensation. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just like screamed there or something. Um, what? Come on! I don't know where. It is. Oh, right there. That's where it is. I haven't played this game in so long. Ah, oh, where did it go? Ah, oh. loss of productivity. Commission study. Commission to study internet usage in the workplace. Just submitted the report. It appears office workers spend an average of two hours a day surfing the web, 50% uh, use for personal time, climbing to 60% uh, if it's a Wi Fi connection. So then that's like bad. Wow, this is a different dynamic to the game. Number one site visited is Facebook with YouTube in a close second. Conclusion is there is 10% loss of productivity, this type of personnel. So if I have more high speed internet, we're gonna lose. <laughs> Alright, let's give them 2,000 assault rifles here. Fine automatic machines. A big thank you. Our supporters will finally have the right tools. Alright. Okay. Ah. I am going to pause this just to explain because I got interrupted a bunch of times there. Uh, so, going into the service industry here, we're going to look at 
lottery embeds. Oh no, come back. Lottery embeds, there it is. All right, so the productivity index, from my understanding, means that if it's at 1%, it's most efficient. If it's over 1%, that means you could add more workers. If it's under 1%, uh, then the workers, or there's too many workers. So um, we're gonna go ahead and increase the, the workforce because there is more work to be done. And I'm just going to up it by, let's say about roughly 10%. And I did look at some numbers beforehand, so I wrote them down just to see exactly where our sales and profits are. Uh, so I'm gonna time this to see if this improves. Oh, and the productivity index is at 1.5. That actually went up from when I started playing this episode. When I, took, when I wrote it down at the beginning, it was uh, 1.511. So that's gone up. So we're increasing the number of workers there. We'll see if the, how that impacts it. Uh, that's not where I'm going to deal with the, uh, the strategy, though, that was articulated by uh, Dutch Gabbers. We're going to look at uh, rail transportation, which is fully nationalized, and the profits are around $464 million, with $5.6 in sales, and we will compare that to, I think, road transports, which is $30 billion in profits. Uh, and 150 billion in sales. I usually don't like to mess with the free market, just wanted to put that out there right now. So I'm kind of hesitant to doing this strategy, but I would like to see, sort of like, test it out in a microcosm to see if it actually works. So I am interested in, in testing it out. So those of you who are interested, we can see we're gonna do a little experiment here. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go with that. I'm gonna sell shares in the railroad transport. We will adjust the degree of nationalization to sector with state involvement. Now this might have a budget in the economy, 8.5 billion. That sounds like it improves things. We're gonna confirm that. And I guess we sold off shares, right? So that increased our budget. So then we're gonna go ahead and we'll put uh, buy shares here, the cost Holy mackerel. That is a lot more of a cost. Eight billion to 150 billion. Ugh. I feel like there's gonna be more profits though, so I'm gonna go ahead and invest there. Oh boy. Let's take a look at our uh, <laughs> taxation budget here. Oh man, we are in a deficit big time. 63 billion. Yeah. Uh, wow. Maybe that'll just last a year, though. I wanted to get a surplus going. Okay, one more thing to write down. Uh, sections that are nationalized are at uh, 35... Is that million or... Yeah, 35... Oh, no, it's 35 billion. All right, so we got 35 billion in nationalized sectors. I'm worried that this is going to affect the road industry, road construction industry. Uh, let's take a look at infrastructure, transportation here. It's going to have a big impact on uh, me popularity wise. Okay, so we have, I'm going to write this down too actually. I want to know, I don't think this is going to have any change, I think this is more what I do, but as far as uh, main highways. Main highways, we've got eight, two, three, seven. Secondary highways, we've got nine, eight, two. And that's all I need to know for this. Oh boy, now I'm nervous. What's gonna happen? I got you. Speed it up. See what type of results we get from this. Oh my god. Oh, I knew it. Oh, I'm getting killed. Oh, wow. Oh, this, is, <laughs> this might have been a bad idea. Just so you know. Oh my god. Listen to your people. Listen. Oh, wow. Let me be straightforward with you. You are taking the wrong path. Well... Business leaders are this may end quickly. The procession is moving through the streets as we ideological breakup. Oh my 
God, that was a bad idea. I knew that that was going to be a bad idea when I saw the numbers. <laughs> I need to do something for popularity here. Well, they said it was a long-term strategy, so... Oh my god. I don't know what to do. <sighs> See if you can't get some little things here. That's already good. That group already likes me. Oh, wow. Getting yelled at by all the credit agencies now. Oh, man. For some reason, I can't even confirm this. Although you recover. Although your economy is among the healthiest. Although your economy. This is all because Although of deficit. Best countries in the world for average internet speed. Internet improvement. Gold star. But I'm at 30%. Oh, that was killer. That was a bad idea. Oh my god. Alright. Um. Just think this maybe. What, how's that gonna pay out? Well, people don't really like that. I don't need that. If people aren't gonna like it, I don't need it. Um. Oh, this is not good. This is usually pretty popular. Mildly popular. Do it. Maybe I can spend money on sports. Best thing in sports is always good because then we get sports victories. The procession is moving through the streets as we speak. Alright, let's do a little bit of this stuff here. $252 million. Ugh. The procession is moved. I had things stabilized, just so you know. Just pointing that out. Wow. I can't gain any traction popularity wise. Point two. What is going on here? Finance hates me. Deficit is huge. Huge deficit. Huge. Maybe a carbon tax. Everybody likes a carbon tax. What happened there? The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. Okay. Bread and butter carbon tax. This is not going to compensate anything. Um, oh, people aren't going to like that. Never mind, I'm not going to do it. What about... The bill has been voted on, but unfortunately, the law has not been passed. Oh, maybe that's a good thing. 
Wait, which one was that? That's not the right one. Service. Oh, wow, this guy hates me. Railroad transportation. We now have an electoral map divided into regions. It's good. Although your economy is a railroad transportation looks like it will pass. So that will be privatized. But the road transportation did not pass. Death of public service. Ooh, look at this one. We just bounced back. I don't know how that happened. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. All right, so one of those bills passed. The other one didn't. You're eradicating public service. Your recent sell-off has exaggerated the state total divestiture vis-a-vis -vis these services, which have always ensured a certain image of quality. You'll see, the private sector doesn't care about anything but profitability, which will lead to a major upheaval. Well, I just bounced back. Thank God. Which law passed and which law didn't? I don't know. Um, well, first of all, taxation? Are we back? All right, because these were estimates. So, thank God. Something didn't go through there. I'm not going with that strategy. Sorry. Wait, where is the compensation? I'm trying to compensate. Yes, I want millions. It's uh, 29 million. I'm going to give him... How much do you wish to give them? So far you've assigned victims zero out of the total 340 something required. I'm gonna give them the whole 346. Confirm. So we don't have to deal with that. Bargain concluded with Switzerland. All right, so let's check out uh, what the heck happened. I think we sold off the railroads. That got passed. Industry is not where I want to be. I want to be in service. Okay. That screwed me up for a second. Service. Okay. So. Railroad transportation. We are now state minority shareholder. We sold off a portion of it. Popularity has been restored. Our budget has been restored. I am not going to try to buy road transport. That's insane. Because that will destroy our budget and destroy our popularity. Okay, I think I survived that debacle. Um, it's been 33 minutes. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode.